The Air Spy HF Plus Discovery. Man, what an SDR that is, right? The technology is so cool, and we can do such great things on AM and FMDX with one of these things. But did you know that you may be missing out on some of the updated features that are available to you as an Air Spy user? Well, today on DX101, we're going to show you how to update your firmware so that you don't miss out and can take advantage of all the features available to you as an Air Spy owner. <laughs> So let's show you guys how to do this firmware update on our uh, AirSpy HF Plus Discovery. I'm here uh, in my uh, my computer right now. We're going to do this. I have just did it on one of my other AirSpies that we have here. So we're going to do it now on my one I use for my auto logger for FM. Um, this is a super easy process. We're going to walk you through all the steps. But just make sure you follow along exactly as we show it um, to make sure that you get a successful um, update of your, your firmware on your AirSpy. So the first thing you're going to want to make sure that you do is go ahead and download the new firmware, and that is going to be found not at the software downloads page. Don't go to the same place you download SDR cons or SDR Sharp rather. You're going to go to the actual AirSpy HF Plus Discovery page, which is just airspy.com slash airspy hyphen HF hyphen discovery. Go there, and that'll take you to this page, and then scroll pretty far down, not all the way to the bottom, but once you get to this point here, start kind of slowing down. And then it'll be right down here um, in this little section called firmware updates. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to click on latest stable version R. Uh, in this case, it's R.4.8. Um, you may have a later version if you're watching this later on. But for now, here in 2024, uh, in April of 2024, when I'm shooting this, it's 4.0.8. So, click on that link and that'll download a new file for you. Okay. Now, uh, one thing you're going to want to make sure that you do, I'm going to open up my copy of AirSpy here first, is before we go any further, we've downloaded the, uh, the firmware update, but before we go any further, you're going to want to make sure that you confirm your existing version of your firmware. 99.9% um, .9 of us should be okay, but there's one particular version of firmware that may has to have a different process, right? It's going to be a little more tricky to do what you need to do. So go into your AirSpy uh, rather your uh, SDR sharp and then find the little panel it could be wherever you kind of docked it at um, if you haven't docked it you can just go over here under the little hamburger and then click on source and HF plus series um, and then find here where it says firmware this is the uh, source box right here it's got your AGC it's got your bandwidth it's got all this stuff um, click on the option that says or look right here above the sample rate look for firmware and then find what that number says if you have a version that says 1.0.0, you're going to have a different process that we're not going to cover in this video, okay? This is going to be a completely different process for you if you're on version 1.0.0. Um, and so you'll, there are some instructions in the uh, README file on the, on the firmware upgrade file. Um, you want to read those and follow along with those, um, but we're not going to cover those here because I don't have anything running version 1, so I can't, I can't replicate that, okay? So for everybody else, here's what you're going to do. All right, so it's super easy. So first, we're going to go in. We're going to click on our, uh, our file that just downloaded. Now, I'm in Chrome, so I can just go right to my little icon here. Um, if you're not sure, uh, if you want to do it the old-fashioned way, kind of, uh, just go into your File Explorer in Windows, and then you're going to click on Downloads. Make sure you go to your Downloads folder, and then go into the file that you just downloaded. It's a zip file that just downloaded. Double-click. <laughs> It's going to bring up a folder here that says AirSpy HF uh, Flash. Double click. It's going to give you a list of files. Now, first off, start with the README. Read me, do the README file first. Um, and this is actually going to tell you the process we're going to start. Now, you see down here this part at the bottom that talks about, oops, that talks about uh, if you have version 1.0.0. That's where I was saying you're going to have a different version. You have to open up the AirSpy. You have to short something, something out. So we're not going to cover any of that here today because I don't have a version running that uh, I don't have an AirSpy running that version of the firmware. Um, but just follow these instructions and you should be okay, I would assume. For the rest of us, though, here's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be uh, making sure our AirSpy is connected. Mine is. Make sure your AirSpy is connected to your device first. Then we're going to open up this particular file, the flash.bat file. Where you have to do a, pr a certain procedure for that. I'll show you what that looks like. 
And then um, once that's completed, then and let's complete the process, and we're going to disconnect our Air Spy and then reconnect it back again. And then we'll go back into SDR Sharp, open it up, and it should say, in this case, 4.0.8. Okay? Everybody with me? All right. So to do this, what you're going to do is go find this flash file right here uh, in the folder that we just had, the Air Spy HF flash folder that we opened up from the downloaded file. You should see a flash Windows batch file. Double click on that. And it's going to then bring you up a little option that says, do you want to run this or extract it? We're going to extract this. If you choose run, it's not going to work. Okay. You need to first extract this out of a zip file into your folder. Now, I just put it in my downloads folder. It's going to make a folder within the downloads folder. That's fine. You can put it in a specific place if you want to. It's really up to you. But I just chose the default and kind of worked off it from there because it really doesn't, it doesn't matter where you put it. It's still going to work. Okay. Now, we've extracted out that folder that we downloaded into a new folder. So it's out of the zip file. It's out of the compressed file. So now it can work. So now we go back in. You should see wherever you saved this up here. Click on AirSpy HF Flash. And you'll know you did it right. If you go to this Flash Windows Batch file, double click on it. And you see this. Okay. If it's, it gives you that extract or run, you did the process wrong. You've tried to open up the wrong one. You want to make sure you extract that into a folder that you can access and you know where it's going. I just did the downloads folder. This is where I put mine. You should get this, okay? Don't freak out. You're still okay. This is not a, a bad file, okay? We're, we're good. Click where it says more info and then say run anyway. Okay? it's going to bring up this handy little window right here. Now it's doing some different work. Let it do its thing. It's going to find your, your uh, air spy. It's going to do a bunch of updating. It's going to flash it. It's going to reboot it in flash mode. It's going to do all this little update stuff. It's going to show you the progress. So we're just letting this do its thing. And then once it gets done, it's going to reboot again. And now it's going to say done. Press a key to close. So I'm going to do that. I press the key. Now, unplug your AirSpy from your computer. You can unplug the USB from the AirSpy, which is what I just did. Or you can unplug the USB from your computer on the computer side. Whichever one's closer and easier for you, that's what you want to do. I've unplugged it from my AirSpy, so I'm now going to plug it back in. Okay. So now... We're ready to roll. So now all I have to do is open up my copy of SDR Sharp, wherever you have that saved, however you access it. And when you get into SDR Sharp, now you should see 4.0.8. Some of you may have dash CD, some of you may have dash BB. Don't worry about that. As long as it says 4.0.8, you're good. Okay? If it doesn't, Go back and follow the steps that we just went through, walk through, okay? Because somewhere along the way you went awry and you kind of went astray. Go back and refollow the steps that we just walked through. And um, if you do say 4.0.8, congratulations. Or whatever the most recent version is that you've downloaded, right? Congratulations, you're good to go. If you found this video to be helpful, we'd appreciate it if you gave us a thumbs up. And a comment is always welcome and helpful in making sure that our videos can reach more viewers. And don't forget to make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified when more videos are available. From all of us here at DX Central, my friends, take care, 73, and best of DX. Now, let's go back and hit the bands. Thank you.